A Boardman woman is devastated after her neighbor's tree toppled onto her home, destroying her roof and shed. For nearly a decade, she's been asking her neighbors to get rid of the rotten tree. And now there's the matter of determining who's responsible. Sydney Canty has details. What would you do if you came home to your neighbor's tree crushing your roof? For Beverly Cox, it was emotional. I was devastated. I, I just started crying. I, I could hardly breathe. Since 2015, Cox had been asking her neighbors to get rid of the tree, and in 2019, through a lawyer. We put them on notice. I sent them a letter, and I never got any response. It was a precautionary measure after learning that the tree was rotten. That letter read in part, I am informing you of your duty to prevent an unreasonable risk of harm to others from decaying, defective, or unsound trees on your property. They were supposed to do something with it in November of 22, which never occurred. But Cox says they are figuring it out now. We've contacted our insurance and they contacted their insurance and we're going to work together with this. But if you find yourself in a situation like this, who's responsible? Insurance agent Jim Lugers tells me it falls on Cox's neighbor, but only because she previously notified them. Lugers says it doesn't count if you only notify your neighbor verbally. You must formally put them on notice or else it falls on you and your insurance. Be responsible. If you're put on notice by your neighbor, do the neighborly thing. With more local news, I'm Sydney Canty.